the history of databases. Databases have gone through a number of generational changes right back from the mid 40s. Initially, database data, if you can call it a database, would have been stored in file systems. As you can see from the diagram, right back to 1945, any storage of data would have been stored in file systems. The file system implies a flat file, text file, binary file, something like that. Around about the mid 50s, somebody came up with an idea for a hierarchical database. A hierarchical database is a tree structure. In other words, you would have branch nodes and leaf nodes where the branch nodes would determine where something is stored based on the value of that branch. Like a tree, just imagine a tree upside down, that's what a hierarchical database is. In the mid-60s, the network database was invented. This was the next generation on from the hierarchical database. Around about the mid-70s, somebody came up with an idea called a relational database based on mathematical set theory. We'll get into that at a later stage. The mid-80s saw the advent of the object database. An object database is somewhat different to a relational database. Well, in fact, it's very different because it it stores everything based on a globally identifiable object number or address, whereas a relational database stores things based on groupings of how they relate to each other. Let's not get into that too much at this stage. Object relational databases were really invented around the late 90s to counteract the potential competition from object databases. What an object relational database effectively is, is a combination of a relational and object methodology where certain object aspects are included within a relational database, thus an object relational database. The history of relational databases. As you can see from the diagram, Dr. Edgar F. Codd wrote a number of papers in the late 60s and early 70s describing what a relational database is and how it would work. He created the first three normal forms. Once again, that's something normalization we will get into at a later stage. But that was the genesis of the relational database. Fourth and fifth normal forms came along later as an addition to the original relational database theory. IBM really produced the first relational database called System R. System R effectively allowed the creation of SQL or SQL or the structured query language. IBM currently markets a relational database called DB2. They have 11% of the market. Going back to the initial creation of relational databases, two scientists at the University of California, Berkeley, developed a database which they called INGRESS. As you can see from the diagram, the acronym comes from Interactive Graphics and Retrieval System. They created the first commercial relational database. Sometime after that, a company called INGRESS Corporation was created to market and sell the Ingress Relational Database. This area is generally very much open to debate among DBAs. However, I tend to have a slant towards Ingress and in I used to be an Ingress DBA. All relational databases stem either from Ingress Corporation or from people who originally worked on the Ingress Relational Database, such as on the right you can see Infomex and Cybase. Some of the people from Ingress Corporation ultimately ended up working for Oracle Corporation and they obviously brought their knowledge into the creation of Oracle and the evolution of the Oracle database in the same way that that knowledge was taken to Infinix and Cybase. Again, it, Oracle's 54% market share goes back to the fact that Oracle 
firstly, they've been much more successful at marketing. The result of this is that they've made a lot more money and they spent a lot more money on development. Even though the Ingress database and the Ingress people initially set out to create the best database possible, they lost market share due to the fact that they didn't necessarily keep up technically or not necessarily technically, perhaps even in terms of providing customers with what they need. Oracle gave their customers end-user usable out-of-the-box applications, as you can see on the right, plus they gave them the development environments for client-server development environments, internet development environments, and obviously, as you can see by the cloud down the bottom of the diagram, a cloud is often used diagrammatically to represent the internet. The ultimate in Oracle development is the Oracle 8i and Oracle 9i internet databases.